In this episode, Don Hunters attack the bottom of our steel motor sailor in a competition between Yana and William. This video also has a special message to you that you can't miss. Who would have thought? For the 30 years age difference, we find ourselves both on the same journey. Marriage at 60 to an old boat and a young wife. Time for big guns. This is definitely the nastiest job I've ever been doing. Embark on this journey, hit the subscribe button to join our crew. In the last episode, we say goodbye to Rusty Hull and hello Shiny Bottom. Hey Don Hunters, make sure you watch to the end for our personal message to you. Last time, <laughs> all my hair when we were painting uh, Champagne Ladies Bottom uh, with the epoxy were all in pieces of epoxy. I was almost crying, cutting it out of my hair. So this time I decided somehow um, eliminate that and cut William's t-shirt while wow, he didn't see that as my um, bandana. What's that? Baby holes. Baby holes. Yeah, where they welded the keel onto the hull. It's not going to leak any water inside, but we want to fill those up now that we have the opportunity. The boat has a solid steel keel. When they added the sails, they wanted to get it to sail correctly, so they had to add more weight to the lower section to accommodate for the masts. So this is solid steel, the whole length of the boat. This is filled with lead. Mm. So that is a complete piece of steel, the whole length on each side, that thick and that high. So that whenever we hit with the boat, we can be breaking ice or reefs. Oops, no reefs. So how is the boat? Actually a lot better than I thought. The exterior is very good. There's a couple of places where they put on plate that wasn't all that great and some of these are getting chewed through but all in all she looks looks pretty good if i see little pits like this i want to weld them closed okay so no sense covering them up First we will be wiping down the bottom before we start with, um, I don't know how you call it in English, acetone I guess, or like paint thinner, so it opens uh, the steel more and we'll let the paint to get into that. And then we're gonna apply Rust Lock 6980. Can't get paint on the pieces of the slide along there you go. Where is the cardboard? He, I told him twice to cut it, but he didn't think he needed it. So, so we can't get paint on the parking lot because we're gonna have a fine, so we have to use a cardboard and uh, move it along as we go. That's not fun. 
Look who is masking. <laughs> William punished himself by that smart conversation. That's why today I'm painting and he's masking because he was defeating the purpose of masking. Hello? Sometimes it's nice to be wrong. Why are you not painting? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> We are done with first coat. Uh, it's gonna look a little sloppy because William said that the first coat should be as fast as possible. A, it's gonna, it might rain, and B, this paint should be very thin applied. So this is how it looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint the second layer. I'm gonna rotate the sides of the boat until we are done with how many? Seven or six? Probably six coats. Six coats. Um, at least there is the clouds kind of went away and hopefully there's going to be no rain and we can finish it today without any possible disasters. Okay, done with the Second coat, that's how it looks. I'm getting silverish. William went for cold water and to shake the paint. So once he's back, so far for two coats on both sides, we used two gallons of paint. Good thing about this paint is the fact that it lays very thin and it's very um, kind of watery. I don't know if it's the right word. Um, so it's kind of like runny. Yeah, probably runny is the right word. So it really lays down very nice. It's not like uh, painting with epoxy, which is thick and uh, gets thick very, uh, very fast on the sun. This one doesn't do that. But now the sun is back. So you can see now we're not expecting rain. The Florida weather during the summer is so unpredictable, but that's good. I mean, it's harder to work, but at least it's not going to rain on us. And that was the whole mission for today. Now get back to work. Look who is finally working hard after friends have visited him. Went five times for the water. Now he's getting into the groove. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you can't get good help, you just got to grab the bull by the horns uh -huh. and do it yourself. Uh -huh. Exactly. Clean. Professional that's painter, no, no paint. No, that's what I'm saying. Look at Vaseline legs here. What I'm saying, you can see right away who's working hard and who's slacking. Hard, painter doesn't slacking. Necessarily be a good paint. <laughs> Not necessarily, but in this case it does. Proof. Tattoo versus no tattoo. Wow, I don't have it on my face. Do you have anything on your face? No. Oh, I'm fine. That means that you didn't paint well enough. That means you were crawling <laughs> around in the dirt. What are you doing? Well, because I realized and then I went when I went under the boat, like exactly straight under, there was like a lot of uh, parts where the roller didn't roll well, and then I'm like, ah. I know. so I had to go manually with the brush. 
That's what I did all here. I had to come behind you and make it correct. But you did very good. We're very happy with that. Liar. <laughs> what are you, liar? You know what happens with liars? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then one, and then what's that? Epoxy. Then two part epoxy, five or six coats, and then bottom paint. And then her bottom will be tight as you guys tell me. Tight as what? <laughs> tight as my butt. <laughs> wait, wait, ready? <laughs> That was funny. Goodbye. Do you have a knife? Yes. Can I borrow it? We are back. <laughs> oh, what is that? That was a really little sour that fell off the side of the tree. No, but I'm interested in what this is. Don't work. <laughs> Too strong. <laughs> So we asked, what is that? And she said it's for, um, to get flies away. <gasps> Hear that? It's an ice cream truck. Hear it? That's him. We just translated this uh, fruit, that name of this fruit, and <laughs> I'm gonna put it here on the side so you can check it out. Mamoni. Very much what is what is it should be. <laughs> How you like it? <laughs> They're kind of like bitter. They're not bitter. They like a uh, tingly. <laughs> Maybe it's with the coffee. So what do you? So you make a cooking or coffee, or tea, no? Just to two. Okay. For suckers. <laughs> Alright, so you took a look at this video, a whole bunch of our other videos. Can you believe that this started out as kind of a dare, kind of joke? Because I'm not Mr. Video at all. And uh, here we are, 1,000 subscribers. It means a lot to us. Thank you guys so much for your support and for all your comments, for all your views, and for all your likes. <laughs> that really, uh, we read all the comments you know we always answer them and a lot of them spare a lot of kind of discussions in between us and it's always amazing to hear from you we've actually also met three of our subscribers already one came all the way from las vegas to look at some boats another one ended up buying a boat 
we've made some very strange friends, it seems, from Alaska, you know who you are, all the way down to Mexico and abroad. So this has been pretty interesting. Uh, it's, it's a lot more than what I thought. So we want to give back to you guys questions, comments, interact with us, and we can adjust based on the ongoing next 10,000. Exactly. And we ask you to help us to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And that was his idea, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're going to start putting our uh, full heart and soul into this, and we have so many cool people we've met. I feel that uh, we can bring things out into the sailing, trawling, and engineering world, and you all can bring things back to us to share with others because this is how you learn uh, breaking things, fixing things. It's all about boats. Exactly. And if we hit this goal, then we're going to take you on the journey, destination picking with us. Yes, you'll, you'll uh, be actually guiding us where we go when we finally splash that big beast into the water. So what we're going to do, make sure that you watch the next video because we're going to be unwrapping this idea of the help us to choose our own destination in the future videos. So basically it's going to be like step-by-step -step thing. And make sure you share this video with all your friends so we all reach the goal. And aside from this, remember that September 26th we have our first live where you can ask us whatever you want, kinda. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be a Q&A, questions that have been sent to us, and then live. We can do a one-on-one -on -one interaction. Exactly, and we're also going to discuss our two years live aboard on a trawler, how we um, picked our motor sailor, why, why we exchange our trawler for the masts, and um, many other cool things. So, again, thank you so much for being with us great to have a new family and uh let's all grow together exactly and it's getting super dark so i hope you guys can still still see us if not ciao bye bye, bye. and the last thing actually two things a lot of you guys asked me and us for an instagram or a Facebook page. So I went ahead, deleted everything from my own page on Instagram and kind of reinstalled it all. And now we are posting in there our Don Hunter's stuff. So feel free to follow us there. It's donhunters.blog on Instagram and Facebook. All right, and the last thing that I promise personally to one of our subscribers who's been super, super cool, super loyal, and you know who you are, Spike. And I promise him to say a phrase from a cartoon, uh, Boris and Natasha. I don't know if it's exactly called like that. Um, so I am about to say that, Spike. <laughs> Sorry if it's not going to sound as you expect, but moose and squirrel. <laughs> That's it. I did it. So remember, put a like, subscribe to the page, put your ring on so you guys are always notified when we post something. And that's it. See you next Thursday. Wait. I just remembered the last thing. Okay, I promise this is the last thing. We also decided that now, from now on, in every video, we're gonna be answering your questions in the end of the video. So it's gonna be always like a little Q&A in the end. So make sure you write us a couple of questions in the comments that you want us to answer and look for the answers next week.